It's, it's documenting a whole lot of things, the book, as it goes through. It's documenting the making of a record, because that's what I was doing, um, and the various different things that were going on through lockdown, and a lot went on through lockdown. My mother died, Anita died, Hal Wilner died. Um, there was just the, uh, and this is all happening in real time while we're having yeah. the conversations. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a, a, a very, very strange, eerie time of not only of personal loss, but, but of communal loss. Yeah. Um, and communal grief in some way. And very odd grief because you couldn't actually go and say goodbye to your mum. So no, quite that's a right. Difficult. Yeah time for you, yeah. and, and with Anita as well. And um, were you always, um, I just want to ask this, from, it just struck me now, because I had this weird anxiety also going on that at any point we could have a really bad conversation, you, you would just ring up and say, I'm not doing this. Business. Really? Yeah, I just thought for the first couple of months, I thought, you know, you're not, you know, you can be a bit, you change your mind quite a lot. <laughs> Shall we say? Uh, I don't think that's true. You, 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 you would have a conversation. Fuck about you. you would <laughs> and the horse you rode. Yeah, yeah, the you, well, for instance, you would, there were certain conversations where, I'm trying to think of an example, where I would ask you something about, well, there was one about, do you have any regrets? No, no, I never have regrets. And then two days later, you ring back and you go like, can we do that conversation again? Because I've just made this huge list of regrets. <laughs> Well, I mean, th this is really, this is the va to me the value of conversations in general, especially ones where you're, uh, someone's pushing back at you and you're not just speaking to people who all agree with everything that you say or, or that all have the same worldview, shall we say. Um, and it, it forces you to renegotiate uh, your most cherished um, ideas about things and this happened a lot through those conversations. So and, and, uh, a question that would get an immediate yes a couple of days later would suddenly get a no. And, yeah. and, and it, it, it rearranged my thinking on all sorts of things, actually. Doubt yeah. being one of them? Huh? You started off talking about doubt being integral to your Yeah, belief. I mean, the, 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 the idea of spirituality and religion in general, that, it's really interesting in the, in the book I saw that when I was looking at it the, the other day, that it, it really begins w with a kind of um, a wishy-washy sort of uh, spirituality, religion, kind of a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And uh, eventually, by the end of the conversations, it's something much more robust and considered. And uh, th there's, there's these parallel journeys that are going on through, through the book. That so you worked that out by having I, I these think conversations? Through, through having conversations about things, yeah.